welcome to all it is uh, my 13th video on my channel today we are discussing about uh, functions so before starting we will just go to the notepad we just write the what is a function function is actually you you can do anything with the functions there is a more than 450 function available on the excel but they are different with the uh, number of arguments what is the argument argument is uh, what you applied in function that is a uh, argument like uh, suppose uh, qrt and then you apply 12 that is a 12 is a argument which applied on the bracket so it will be categorized into five kind of things first is no argument when we have given just a blank example is also that is a now which returns uh, current date and time second one is a one argument they suppose we have just applied as sqrt which is square root that is a one argument then fixed number of arguments suppose you have applied the function any which has a fixed number of argument like if else anything indeterminate number of arguments suppose you have applied the sum function you create bracket and then you scroll down the your uh, series that is the indeterminate number of arguments and then there is an optional argument what is the optional argument actually the optional is uh, is not be a necessary if you apply it then it is okay otherwise it create another kind of value so one by one we have discussed the, all the functions so before we go to the our excel we have a various type of data suppose uh, i just type it and uh, applied a function that is a function for the uh, calculation of salary can say is a calculation of salary so that uh, which contain uh, something uh, values like this one this is we have already applied a formula but uh, in this tutorial we also applied a formula Suppose that is a basic salary of the five person or anyone is that is a basic salaries so first you must decide what is the percentage of da what is hr apf and then various uh, allowances so suppose i just decide that that, that, that is a current uh, government uh, uh, government ratio that is a da is approximately 110 percent with of basic salary so what we are do is just select equal and then select the basic salary then multiply option you can use a bracket option then da is actually 110 percent of basic salary so we just 110 divide 100 we applied a bracket because bracket priority is higher than multiplication first solve the 110 upon 100 then multiply with basic salary and then enter your DA will be counted. You just go to the this side and then double click on it. All salary will be calculated. As the same way, we can calculate the HRA. Suppose we had just decided the HRA is a 10% of basic salary. So again, click on the this option, then multiplication, then bracket, and that is a 10%. That is a 10 upon 100. And your HRA will be calculated. Suppose just decide that uh, PF is a five percent because uh, again be on basic salary equal multiplication then five divide hundred. This criteria may be different, so you can go to the website and then check the all the uh, percentage of this allowances and then equal. Now what we are doing, we have just calculated the total salary. 
in salary these are the allowances but that is a saving pf is actually saving so it must be deduction so again equal add basic salary then da then hr and minus pf and enter at 33540 the way we have applied a one by one value uh, we have applied the reference that is a indeterminate argument we have applied with also be a function suppose i just applied the function is sum sum what the do that is argument sum click on here drag this one equal minus pf and then enter you can see that is the same value then double click on it and you can see same value both are the same value so we have a calculate a salary with two way first with our function and second with the cell reference now we have applied that new function okay what the requirement the requirement is if the user salary or any one salary more than uh, uh, 30000 then there is a 1% of uh, tax on the total salary whatever is the government architecture we have never discussed on it we have applied that there is a condition if suppose suresh salary is uh, 33540 we have applied a 1% of tax if the salary is greater than 30 so we applied the function again go to the equal option then if this condition we fulfill with f click on the if function first the logical test logical test with condition so click on here that is if this value is greater than 30000 you must check the formulas on the year g3 that means uh, this salary is must be the 30000 then what happened it happened that uh, the salary on the basic salary that is sorry a total salary that is on g3 g3 multiply with or we can say there is a, a deduction we can say of a uh, uh, 1% or 2% so again one divide and that that is a true condition if true you can say if value true then this otherwise deduction is zero value false then bracket close and then you can check that is a double click you can check this l is less than 30000 deduction is zero this one is a tax is zero 33 so tax is because we have applied only a this salary deduction that is a more than 30000 we have applied more than conditions so what we have applied that if salary is more than 30000 there is a 1% on deduction is a tax amount so that is a tax amount so we can use a excel with our requirement we have applied a tax with use of if functions so i hope the matter will be clear to all students if you have any query kindly go to the comment page and log in subscribe the channel thanks for watching thank you